we know that the center of mass is a point of a body or a system which represents the actual motion of that body or the system we also know that center of mass of that system can be represented as m1 r1 plus m2 r2 and so on divided by m1 plus m2 and so on when we are saying rcm that is uh, we are making it valid it uh, mean valuable or uh, can be applied whether the body is a one dimensional body or the system is a two dimensional one or a three dimensional one if it is one dimensional one in the place of r1 we have to write only x1 if it is a two dimensional one in the place of r1 there will be x component as well as the y component if it is a three dimensional one then in the place of the r there will be x component y component as well as the z component so this is the general formula that what we can write this is the position of the center of mass suppose we want to calculate the velocity of the center of mass of the system we know velocity is defined as rate of change of displacement or the position so i can write d by dt of rcm that means we have to differentiate the position vector once with respect to time to get the velocity of the center of mass i can write mass outside the equation and differentiate each term with respect to time m2 dr2 by dt and so on by then rate of change of displacement of the first body will be the velocity of the first body similarly rate of change of the second particle will be the velocity of the second particle by m1 plus m2 plus and so on so we can write velocity of the center of mass formula like this m1 v1 plus m2 v2 by m1 plus m2 and so on suppose if you want to further go into by writing the momentum i can write m1 v1 as the momentum of the first body first particle momentum of the second particle by mass of all the particles of the system together will give you the mass of the system itself therefore i can write velocity of the center of mass equal to like this we can rearrange the terms now we can write therefore total mass of the system into velocity of the center of mass equal to momentum of the first particle plus momentum of the second particle and so on mass into velocity of the system will become automatically momentum of the center of mass so momentum of the center of mass is equal to the individual momentum of the all the particles like this we can calculate the momentum now suppose we want to calculate the acceleration of the system we can calculate that also as from the velocity of the center of mass we have just now derived an equation velocity of the center of mass equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and so on by mass of the individual particles of the system as we want acceleration we have to differentiate the velocity of the center of mass once with respect to time that can give you the acceleration because acceleration is defined as a rate of change of velocity then let us differentiate mass is a constant even after differentiation that remains constant so m1 dv1 by dt m2 dv2 by dt and so on by m1 plus m2 plus and so on therefore i can write acceleration of the center of mass equal to m1 rate of change of velocity of the first particle will be the acceleration of the first particle so a1 m2 a2 and so on divided by m1 plus m2 plus and so on like this we can calculate 
the velocity of the center of mass like this we can also calculate the momentum of the center of mass we can also calculate the acceleration of the center of mass where center of mass is a point of a body which represents the actual motion of the body depending on the system in the positions of r p v or acceleration we can write x components or x component and y components when the system is in two dimension x component and y component z component when the system is in the three dimension